Hey, I'm Christina Perez. I'm a second year carpentry student in the Building Trades program at Commonwealth Career and Tech Center. My teacher, Mr. Davies, asked me to tell you why I decided to go into Building Trades and talk about my experience in the program. A lot of my friends went to work in childcare, teaching, nursing, or maybe something to do with math or psychology. I thought a lot about what I want to do too. I know I like art and working with my hands. I don't mind getting my hands dirty with sawdust or paint, but I absolutely do not want to touch blood or poop. So childcare and healthcare are out of it for me. But I like the idea of helping people. So my dad got me interested in construction as a career. He's the construction manager for BDC Building. This is my dad's favorite picture of me. I tucked my hair into my hard hat so it wouldn't get caught in something. The gloves were too big, but I didn't care. I loved going to work with my dad. Everyone was so friendly, and even gave me candy when my dad wasn't looking. I guess that's when I decided I wanted to work on a construction site too. There are a lot of different jobs on a construction site, and everyone has to know what they're doing. I like working in carpentry best, but one day, I hope I can be a site manager, just like my dad. I tell my friends all the time, you've got to do the math right. A miscalculation could mean the building falls down and people could die. My friends made fun of me about my decision. Some of my teachers told me I was too smart to do just construction. I even had a counselor tell me that construction sites were no place for a girl. But I've been to construction sites, and she hadn't, so I knew she was wrong. It's super professional, and everyone treats me with respect. When I was a kid, my dad and I watched this old house, and we'd built things together. The first thing we built was a bookshelf for my room. He let me do everything from sanding the wood to measuring, drilling, painting, and assembling the shelves. I loved using all those different tools. I used to borrow my dad's tools to just hammer and drill wood for no reason, just because I liked it. Today, I like to watch remodeling shows. Flipper Flop, Good Bones, Fixer Upper, Hometown. Any show on the DIY network will hold my attention. They're super creative and can make something out of nothing. I decided to go into the carpentry program at the CTC after I went on a school tour. The teacher said we'd be building a house as part of the class. That's pretty lit. But seeing the class making jigsaw puzzles for low-income kids for Christmas presents? I wanted to do that. I want to help to make a difference in my community now, not wait four years to even think about helping out. This year, I helped prep and paint the wood for those puzzles. We cut three, four, or five pieces for each puzzle. We had to be really careful sanding the edges so it would be smooth for their little hands. I used bright colored paint and sealant that was safe for children. There's one other girl in my class. She's new to construction and hasn't really done carpentry before. We all try to be nice to her, but she says she's feeling overwhelmed. I told her that one of the boys in the class, Aaron, is also behind. It has nothing to do with being a guy or a girl. It has everything to do with experience. She'll catch up. Mr. Davies has a new co-op in the classroom program, so more advanced students can help tutor the kids who need some extra help. Mr. Davies asked me to tutor the others. He told me I'm a natural leader. He said he knew that was true because the other students often ask for my help before they even ask him. That was low-key really nice of him. I hadn't really noticed, but it's true. I like to lead and I like to learn. I chose the right profession for me.